Hey gang, my name's Chad Whitaker, and in this screencast, I'm going to talk about Aspen. Aspen is a Python web server, and it's all about organizing your WSGI applications into an integrated website. One of my big goals with Aspen is to build a simple tool that can support multiple development models simultaneously. And in this screencast, I'm going to show you proofs of concept for five different web development models that Aspen supports. They are static HTML, CGI style, PHP style development, Ruby on Rails style, and Zoho. Now, I want to be able to use Aspen the whole way from initial site concept through development and into production. Whether you're doing wireframes, temporary pages, tiny websites, or boilerplate pages on a larger site, there are definitely times when you just want to serve some straight up HTML. Aspen makes this use case as simple as it should be. No configuration, just start Aspen in whatever directory you want and it'll serve your static files. If you want to add a bit more functionality to your site without getting too complicated, you can use Python scripts that will be executed when hit through the web just like a CGI script would be. However, for the actual gateway interface, Aspen uses WSGI instead of CGI, so you're going to get an environment mapping and a start response callable within your script's namespace. Out of the box, Aspen serves any file with the .py extension this way. PHP style web development is the model where your URLs map literally to templates on the file system which are somehow processed to generate the HTTP response. Now Ian Bicking's got a pretty cool hack to wrap a PHP fast CGI process within a Python WSGI callable and I'm going to wire that up here as an Aspen handler to process all files with a .php extension. For this to work you first need to have PHP installed with fast CGI support. And once that's taken care of, we're ready to wire it up to Aspen. Every Aspen website has a so-called magic directory, which is in the root of the website and is named underscore underscore. Within this directory is a Unix-style user land, and it's here that you configure and extend your Aspen website. For this example, we have a few site-specific Python modules that we need, and we put those in libpython. Again, the WPHP module comes from Ian Bicking, although the version here has had some paste specific bits removed. And it depends on the FCGI app module from Alan Sadie, which you can also see here. Our module is phplease.py, and it's just a thin wrapper around WPHP to wire in some configuration. The only other bit of wiring we need is in the Etsy directory under the site's magic directory in a file called handlers.conf. Handlers and Aspen are WSGI callables that are tied to arbitrary file properties. In this example, we're telling Aspen to serve any file with a .php extension using our phplease handler and to use the built-in static handler for everything else. And indeed, that's what we get. By Ruby on Rails style web development, I mean development with a full stack web framework. The leading such option in Python is Django, so I'm going to show you how to plug a Django application into an Aspen website. As a proof of concept, this isn't too bad because Django comes bundled with its own WSGI adapter. I'm going to install Django into my site's magic directory, starting with the tarball in source. Note that I've had to include libpython and libpython site packages on my Python path in order for this example to work. Once that's done, I've got Django scripts in bin and the library in libpython site packages. Now let's create a new Django project. For this example, I'm going to use the Django settings module environment variable to tell Django about my project.
The last thing I need to do is to associate Django's WSGI handler with some part of my website. We do this with the apps.cont file under Etsy, and here I'm simply using Django for all requests to the site. And that's it! Alright, the last pattern we're going to look at I'm calling Zope style development. One of the things that Zope gives you is a sort of next generation file system where all of your files and directories are extensible Python objects. This allows you to build applications with rich content objects in a hierarchical layout. Aspen lets you do something very similar but using your operating system's file system instead of the ZODB. This means you get to use your favorite text editor or version control system for no extra charge. So for example, let's say we've got a small company with half a dozen staff and we want to model this for our website as a set of files in a people directory. Let's say that each file is going to be in MIME format with an arbitrary set of attributes in the headers and a biography in the message body. Then let's write a little Aspen handler that will use the standard library's email package to parse these MIME messages and generate a web page for each staff member. Lastly, we'll use a regular expression match to associate our Aspen handler with all requests under the people directory. And voila! Of course, instead of MIME, we could have used subversion properties for our arbitrary attributes or we could have used an XML format, or our files could have stored Python pickles or some other binary format. And what's more, instead of a simple file name match, we could write a rule to dispatch based on some property of whatever binary format we're using. This is all possible with Aspen's handler infrastructure. And there you have it folks, five different development models that you can mix and match when building websites with Aspen. Aspen looks like it might help you out in your web development, and you can find out more at zetadev.com/software/aspen. Thanks for watching. Oh,